So, Dazza. Or as I regularly call him, that fucking dickhead. So, his story was never meant to become what it has turned into. He's my first Commodore Ute. I've always wanted one, but just never had the opportunity to get one. I've always wanted one, as they are a pretty big part of Aussie automotive history. Not just worldwide. And well, how cool are they? Especially square body C10s. Well, Billy's is at least anyway. Got a pretty big soft spot for that one. When I got him, he was rough. I mean, let's face it, he still is. But he needed so much work just to be able to drive it. Um, slowly sorting that out, bit by bit, I set my sights on making him my parts getter. My idea, I guess, plan for him was pretty simple. A basic turbo eco setup I can use to test my turbo kits, develop them, and be a cool car on 98 I can cruise around in. still be a pretty stout setup and he was for quite a while column shift 4 l slippy ebay turbo 98 the whole bit i got to take him to the track and see what he runs only to oil the track down my first time doing that so check that off the list Still rolled to a mid to low 12 second pass, ejecting two rods out just before the half track. Yeah, yeah! At this point, I was hooked. He got a Pulsar Turbo, it's me 85, an L67 bottom end, I added a cam setup, cranking the boost all the way up to 30. The poor 4 else that we had a hard time hanging in there, but still managed to hold on to it long enough to reel off. 620 ish horsepower at the wheels. You might know um, a little work hack. It is a stock L67 bottom end Pulsar 3584R Gen 2. Set of my log manifolds down in there. Um, a ECU Master EMU Classic controlling the shots with Aeroflow LS7 or LS9 coils, I believe they are. And yeah, it's just a fairly basic setup. It's got one of my bump sticks in it. At that point, I was curious to see how far I could push the little stock bottom end L67. So I got Ethel's Power Glide, some collector manifolds I made up, and a Pulsar G42-4850. A full three and a half inch exhaust system, and I was able to push it to 713 horsepower, but it was short lived. The cam bearing was worn when I installed the cam. I didn't have the time or money to replace them. So I just slapped it in and sent it. And it came back to bite me, sending trash to the rest of the engine. And that's when the universe decided I wasn't supposed to have this engine in this car. Naturally, I didn't listen and proceeded to put two more in there. One failed out at Road Trip Drag Challenge, not before running a pass fraction faster than. Ethel's PB at the time that had a forged bottom end in it.
were trying to, it was sort of a happy accident. The other one got submitted to some drunk tuning and a proper thrashing and well, another stupid mistake made it meet its early demise. Tucking my tail between my legs, I decided to give it one last try and do a set of ported heads with bigger valves, forward facing intake, similar to what I'd done with Ethel, and achieved good results, only to have the fuel pressure reg hose pop off, resulting in 34 pounds of boost and a very lean mixture. Thankfully I caught it in time before it rotted the engine. but it didn't end up making any more horsepower than just the simple setup did. So, at this point I was kinda over it. Not so much the platform altogether, but more over having it in this ute. I'll still be sticking to the platform and pushing it to its limits the best that I can. I have two huge builds in the works with this platform, one being Ethel, that kinda got pushed aside so that I could play with this ute. And the other is going to push a stock Ecotec crank further than it has before. But now I'm wanting something different. Being a car guy, being a car guy, I'm not really set in one particular platform. The Ecotec just sort of happened to be the platform that I kind of fell into. And it's a great thing, there's nothing wrong with the platform, but I want to try something new. Learn new things learn new skills, learn new platforms, and just push my skills as a mechanic, fabricator, and tuner further than I ever have before. I guess Dazza is that awkward side character, not intended to be a main protagonist, but still has an awesome story to tell. Finding a cheap engine on Marketplace, setting his next platform in stone, I dove balls and all into a new platform but not a fully unknown platform. To make a killer setup for him and one of the most badass shop trucks around. His story is still getting started and I'm super excited to show you it and see where I can push him and this new platform. For now, here's a little sneak peek. I hope you're as excited as I am to get him back out and racing and to write some more of his story. <laughs> 